everyone. Today I'm going to do an old <laughs> There was a meme on my page one time about the sound of fireworks or the, the sound of gunshots and living in America is not knowing the difference. <laughs> I always hear what is either a firework or a gunshot and it's always from this side of the neighborhood and don't know which one it is, <laughs> but uh, earlier today there was an explosion of wires. The entire neighborhood just lost power today. Anyways, so it's Kylie. What's up? Today I am in a new setting and I am wearing something super old that is a little bit of a throwback for some of you who may have seen my channel in the very early stages. It's gonna be a little bit of a chit chat video while I do the color. I have VP Fashion Hair Extensions in and I wear tape-ins lately. I've been wearing tape-ins on and off for the past like 10 months. Um, tape-ins are worn for about two months at a time and I have been wearing these for about a month. I'm gonna color this faded lavender with Cyan Sky by Lunar Tides. So this brand I've actually been using for about four years. Um, I've never only used this and like really promoted it a whole bunch, but if you guys are interested in their brand, um, I bought this off of Arctic Buffalo's website. So if you go into my description, you can probably get a 10% discount if you just use Jellyfish as the code. But um, you can buy Lunar Tides, you can buy Manic Panic, you can buy Arctic Fox. I'm going to cover this side with a homemade formula of semi-permanent colors that were basically brown mixed with black. So what it was is kind of like, I think this is mostly Arctic Fox, but it's a whole bunch of stuff. So it's like their Transylvania black, which is like a blue-based black, but then you add orange into it to cancel that blue out and mix it together to create the ultimate dark brown black formula. It's a pretty good formula. I worked really hard to get this and that's why I put it in a big tub because I made a lot. If you take a look at my extensions you can kind of see that the top of them is just a little bit lighter than the bottom and I need to fix that situation because quarantine is over girl. I'm about to go back to work in two days. About to be doing hair. I can't have ratchet hair myself. I really contemplated wearing some makeup in this video. Like I thought about putting on my magnetic lashes so I could like flutter at you guys, but uh uh I'm about it's it's 11 p.m. and I'm about to take a shower after this. Why would I do that to myself? So yeah. Semi-permanent hair dye is conditioner based and conditioner is what breaks down the adhesive on extensions or at least tape in extensions. So I'm going to have to be super careful here. I have got it separated for the most part. I really need to do my roots. I'm so glad I'm recording because I was just walking by and Scott like opened the door to my bedroom and I screamed. <laughs> this shirt is from my first few years on the channel. I now have like 500 videos so if you scroll down like on a laptop you're not really going to be able to find anything but if you... <laughs> Go to the settings part at the top where it says oldest to newest. You can go all the way to like my oldest videos and then click on my um, all of my early hair dyeing videos. I also have a playlist of all of my hair dye videos that I've ever made in my life. So most of the beginning ones I had this shirt on for every single time I colored my hair. 
as well as whenever I had a friend over, I would have them wear the shirt because usually they would show up and be like, Oh, I didn't bring something that I could ruin. And I'm like, Don't worry, girl. I got you. This uh, shirt has a lot of history on this channel. But as you can see, there are multiple layers of crazy colors all over it. And it's because it has the history of all of the first hair dye projects I've ever done in my life. So the most difficult thing about this is I, I don't want to accidentally remove the adhesive by getting too much um, hair dye on the actual extension piece. I'm always in a much better mood when I'm coloring my hair, I've noticed. It's my zen zone. I know I'm a professional now, but I decided not to use gloves this time because when I go back to the salon, I'm gonna have to use gloves a thousand times more than I usually do. And I already wear gloves more than I should. So I just decided let's embrace let's embrace the Smurf hands. In two days, if my hands are still blue, that means I'm not washing my hands enough. <laughs> or that this dye isn't gonna be incredibly hard to get out. I'm low-key hoping that this is really gonna cover my hair and make the color as vibrant as I was hoping. I want it to be like an electric blue and when I remove the color like that it kind of looks more more like a like a sea glass blue. But maybe it just needs to sit in. So I also wanted to turn my comments into a question a questionnaire for a video. If you guys have any questions about hair dye, I would love to answer those questions for you. So if you like have any questions about color theory or why your color never ends up right or something, please comment below. And you know, you guys can also comment to one another, but I want to make a whole video of answering your questions so that you really get the full in-depth info. If you want some VP Fashion extensions, also go check the link in the bio for my for my um, discount code because that'll give you a good a good amount of money off. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's late. I I don't sound as enthusiastic as I thought I would. I'm just really focused. I always give up like 25% of the way through the color. I'm just like, I'm just going to use my hands for everything. I want you guys to also comment below how long it is that you've been watching my channel for. Because I've had some people say like, oh my god, I've been watching you for this many years. I'm like, wow, like nobody was watching me back then. Like, that's so rare to find someone that was like, there since the beginning, you know, but maybe all of you have been watching me since the beginning and there's just no new people. I don't know. Technically, I could probably check my um, analytics because YouTube gives you all the info you need to figure out anything. Like, I know what percentage of you guys are around my age, I know what percentage of you guys are 40 year old men. <laughs> So, um, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I can't believe I'm doing this. There was about like 20 times today where I was like, should I do it? No, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't color my hair today. I shouldn't. And I'm like, I'm going to, no. So now I finally am doing it. So because of how sheer this is, it's going to look kind of teal, but that's okay. Y'all know how iconic I look in teal. If you Google emo, there I am. 
That's me. If you Google scene girl, that's me. Also, I just got a TikTok for those of you who have been like asking about TikTok. I've been saying no so much that I'm sure all of you don't believe that I have a TikTok if you find it on there now. But it's Kylie the jellyfish with no spaces, no dots, no nothing. It's just Kylie the jellyfish, like one big word. I've been really getting into just watching YouTube videos about... It's always read by um, like a robot, but Redditors discussing their like scariest encounters or like ghost stories or just things that they've seen that they couldn't explain. So I've, I've been just watching so much of that that I've gone full circle and then I'm hearing all the same stories. But it makes me really paranoid throughout the day. It makes me question everything that I've, I ever see in life. I'm also huge on conspiracies. Um, and not even just because of like all the people talking about conspiracies as a trend on like YouTube, like, but my boyfriend and I like watch the full on like alien documentaries and stuff. Like we always discuss like what if like what if they didn't land on the moon? What if we've never touched the moon? And like because there's that whole conspiracy where um, I'm not gonna cite anything and I'm not gonna get super like realistic about it. Let's just say that I'm just having fun right now and I'm just kind of talking about something I remember. But it's this whole there's this whole like conspiracy theory where after after Russia started like having so many good successes with going out into outer space, it's like, okay, one point for Russia, two points for Russia, three points for Russia, and then all of a sudden, we're like, we have something, I promise, like, we're, we'll send someone out there, and so then after a while, like, we send someone to the moon, but then there's so many people who are claiming, like, that the shadows aren't where they should be, and that the, the, um, moon, the, the, uh, flag is just not moving the way it should and all this stuff and then the Mythbusters themselves decided to make a video all about like trying to debunk it and it turns out they were like we can't even prove this we we don't even know to be honest and then um and then if you no one's been sent to the moon since then so it's like did we just like forget the technology like did we just like misplace the formulas and be like oh sorry we like totally forgot how to go to the moon and uh and then it, like my my whole theory is that elon musk is actually going to be the first one to get on the moon not him but his his whole company and stuff um i just find that interesting i'm also super duper into the memes where um Elon Musk and Grimes had their baby and named it X Ash Archangel Musk. Like, come on. I mean, like, I'm just waiting for Grimes to go online and be like casually saying his full name and stuff. When I'm sure they're gonna just call him X. Like, that's easier. Or just Ash. Like, Ash is a cool name. But yeah, I've gotten so used to the memes that I just like say it so casually. Yeah, X Ash Archangel Musk, blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't really listen to Grimes' music, but I've been watching so many of her interviews, and oh my god, I love that girl. I love her so much. I want to be her friend. I listen to her music a little bit, but I don't listen to music in general. <laughs> um, I've been listening to mostly uh, stuff to work out to. So like when I go on my like speed walks, I go on like angry speed walks because I hate running and I hate jumping. So um, I'll be like angrily speed walking down the sidewalk aggressively and then I'm listening to um, cyberpunk music. <laughs> also guys, PSA, wear scrunchies. Scrunchies are so much better for your hair and they prevent breakage versus like the really tiny ones that are super firm. Oh no. Oh. Sometimes I feel like a walking advertisement because 
I always shout out plug your holes, I always shout out my eyelashes, I always shout out my hair dye, my hair extensions, what I'm wearing. <laughs> I hope I don't annoy too many people by being like, oh, I also have a discount code for this. I feel like I'm talking a lot lower now because Scott's home and he's in the other room and I don't hear him so I feel like he's just listening to me. Not that it matters, but it's hard to have fun and talk loud when you're being listened to. <laughs> I've been alone all day and I could have done this anytime, but I decided to not. I also just paid for a um, subscription to um, a royalty-free music site. Or I'm, I'm actually, it's not royalty-free because I'm paying for it, but... Um, Epidemic Sounds is going to be what I am using all of my music for now because I'm getting so sick of getting copyrighted. You see, if you download something and use the music from certain websites that are royalty free, those artists can still change their mind and make it copyrighted. So if I had a video two years ago that I put five songs in and that I just bought a subscription to the website Epidemic Sounds and that is going to be what I use for my music in the background of my videos now because I don't, uh, I'm just getting really sick of being copyrighted for music that I downloaded as royalty free and then the artists change their mind and they're like, oh, like, you can't use this anymore, you have to demonetize this video. So, now I don't have to worry about that, as long as I stick with their music. I'm really just focusing on getting the hair dye all over the top of these, these extension bands without getting it on the actual tape part. And to be honest, it's so hard to edit, like even when I have all day to edit, I can't focus when I like sit down and tell myself I'm going to do it. There's so many other things that I want to do. I'm a very active person. What I like to do all day is go through bins that I have of stuff and just organize them and then realize that I have nowhere to put all of the stuff I just organized, so then I just throw it back in the bin and put it in the closet. <laughs> And this happens about three times a week on average outside of quarantine, so imagine how much I've been doing that during quarantine. I feel very calm right now. My voice is just so soft and I don't feel like talking too loud and I'm just like la 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, I really like the way this orange looks with this teal. Like, I would never color my hair orange. Well, never say never, but I would, I would probably hate having orange hair because I just can't stand wearing orange clothing. So imagine being stuck wearing the color that you hate wearing on your clothes. Um, but. It looks really good with this teal, so what I'm thinking is maybe I'll like wear really vibrant orange makeup more often. My hands are beautiful. Alright! I will be back with you tomorrow with pretty makeup on and stuff for the reveal of the results. Bye. Alright, here's the results. It is actually two days later because I decided to not wear makeup on my last day of unemployment. And I returned to work today and I, um had to wear my hair up in a bun so it's not styled really great but you can see the results <laughs> so um the bangs they are not exactly cyan or electric blue they're more of a teal but that's just because it was more yellowy 
on my bangs to begin with and I kind of knew that but I was just gonna see what happens because blue to me like any form of blue is good like slate blue like sky blue cyan cerulean all of it how do you guys like it I'm gonna take it out of the bun but don't judge how weird it will look because it's not gonna be styled My tapes. You can see my tapes. There we go. Cover the barber. One of my fan accounts, whom I love dearly, <laughs> posted something after I did a little teaser of saying, guys, I'm gonna color my hair teal. She was like, she's gonna be emo again. <laughs> I was like, Am I not emo anymore? <laughs> what? What just happened? I, I'm just happy. I feel like myself when I have teal hair because the first time I've ever colored my hair a solid fashion color, it was teal. And so teal is a deep, soulful color for me. It's the color that makes me feel like the most vibrant and fiery version of myself and like purples like mauve and lavender are definitely the two colors that make me feel like myself as well but if i'm trying to scream i'm kylie from the rooftops this is the color i go so i feel good i feel normal i feel like myself i feel pretty i wanted to show you how long it is Look how pretty it is. I'm, I'm in a good mood, guys. I'm making money again. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Like, what the heck? And also hit that bell if you're already subscribed. Like, what are you guys, what are you doing down there? What are you, you know, subscribe. Hit the bell. Also, like. And most importantly, if you have any questions or concerns or comments or anything just comment below like at all just comment anything you can possibly think of and whatever your heart desires tell me what you want right now in the world if the universe can give you something right now tell me in the description not the description tell me in the comments below because what i've learned this is something that i have definitely learned this year not just this year, I've kind of known this my whole life. Maybe I'm just a lucky little thing, or maybe I just have the key to the universe. But when I announce something to the universe and I tell it what needs to happen, it kind of just listens sometimes. So, you know, if you really, really feel a certain way, just freaking scream it from the mountains. Like, go out there, tell people what you want, and you might just get it, boo. Okay? So have a good night. Have a good time. Stay safe, people. Wear some cute-ass masks. I'm gonna stop. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs>